Good afternoon students, parents and teachers. Welcome to our remote assembly. It is June the 5th. Um, I would like to begin this assembly by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we gather uh, to pay our respects to their elders, both past, present and emerging. Uh, we've got the long weekend coming up, boys and girls, so excellent uh, chance for a little bit of a time away from um, the normal things. Things are starting to get back to a little bit of normality with school for particularly our junior students, but next week we have um, our grade three to sixes beginning on Tuesday, so we look forward to that. Um, we still have the restrictions in place, boys and girls and mums and dads, because we have the, um, obviously the, the virus restrictions so those sort of things are the, you know, making sure everyone brings a drink bottle, which is really important, so we're not using the drink taps too much. Um, also that we're not allowed to have parents on site at the moment, so trying to keep that to an absolute minimum. So well done on everyone for following those sort of guidelines. It's really, I know that is a challenge, but people have been doing really well with that. Um, to help with that, we've been having the staggered pickup times. So that will continue next week and we will have the grade preps or foundation children getting picked up at quarter past three. We have the grade one children and any siblings getting picked up at 20 past three. We have the grade twos getting picked up at 25 past three. We have the grade threes and fours getting picked up at 3.30 and the grade five and sixes will be getting picked up at 3.35. So if parents can try and stick to that, obviously if you have siblings, they go with the younger age group. Um, if parents can try and keep to those times, not try not to get here too early because sometimes that does cause a little bit of congestion. We have had plenty of space along Cemetery Road. So I have noticed the quick pickup area has been the area where it's been a little bit more congested. So if you're finding that uh, there's congestion there, please use um, the cemetery road. You park there and tell your children to, to meet out that side. So um, well done on all the effort that people have been doing with this. I know it is different, but things are working well and it is hopefully for not a really long time, but it is a precaution that we need to continue to take because there is still that risk um, that we all need to be mindful of, that we don't want to, um, you know, want to try and minimise any risks of, of spreading the, the virus or anything like that, if it is around. Um, also, oh, an interesting one, we had uh, some of our grade fives and sixes, um, I know, had entered a writing competition. That was in the newsletter in term one. And Reed Harrington has got down to becoming one of the finalists. So. Congratulations, Reid, that sounds excellent. We look forward to hearing if you uh, are successful or, or become one of the winning finalists, but uh, keep us posted. So congratulations, Reid, great to hear children doing well with um, things like reading. Oh, writing, actually, is what it was. Um, all right, we have got, um, obviously, with everyone coming back next week, we'll have um, some additional teachers out on out on duty again in the morning just to welcome people. So we want people to get back into those routines really well. Um, we look forward to seeing everyone and um, yeah, just, just come in as, as you normally do. Um, obviously, again, as we said, parents do need to um, you know, do, do that drop and go type of thing. Um, so we'll go on to our learners of the week and our first grade will be JH, Mrs. Howard. Okay, the learner in the week in JH this week goes to someone that takes great pride in her learning, has the most beautiful handwriting, and sent me lots of good morning messages on Cecil, and that is Anna. The learner in JL this week is going to someone who did a great job of settling back in after remote learning and always comes through the gate with a big smile on her face. And she also did a great job finding some rhyming words in independent reading this week, and that is Lani Pomeroy. In this week, the learner of the week goes to Noah Ferrant. The reason why Joe is, Noah is getting learner of the week is because of his wonderful writing that he's done. We've been doing list writing in um, Writers Workshop this week and he did a fantastic job 
with the topic that was what I would buy if I had a million dollars. And he decided in his list to come up with a butler, which I thought was a fantastic idea. Well done, Noah. The learner of the week in JRP this week goes to Olivia Neville for her dedication and persistence in writing. She independently wrote a fantasy narrative and then worked with a partner for peer feedback and is now publishing it. Well done, Olivia. The learner in JC this week is Ariana Tassoni. Well done, Ariana. I love the way that you always put 110% into your work and um, all this with this big smile on your face. Well done. All right, the learner in MPS this week is Ayla Stratford for the fantastic work she's been putting into her home learning and asking for help all the time, which has been fabulous to see. Good job, Ayla. Okay, so my learner of the week goes to Victor Cirillo for his consistent hard work with his home learning and for challenging himself to improve his writing expression in his piece, Mr. McGee comic. Good job, Victor. Hi everyone, the learner of the week in MSW for this week goes to Cruz Quigley. He has really stepped up his home learning this week and he did an excellent job graphing the chocolate bar sales. Well done Cruz. See you guys. Um, so the learner of the week in SH this week is Callum Huffer for smashing his remote learning and challenging himself with extra learning tasks. Well done. Learner of the week in SV this week goes to Mia Morgan for awesome work over the whole um remote learning time well done me i loved your list this week <laughs> learner of the week this week in sdw is hamish mckenzie for being an absolute superstar throughout our whole coronavirus learning from home time he's been consistent and always been nice to have a chat to on our weekly chats as well well done hamish well done hamish congratulations to all those learners of the week and thank you to our teachers for presenting those. Uh, we've now got the terrific kid and the terrific kid this week is someone who has come back to school really, really engaged and enthusiastic in all their learning. Um, someone who's been trying their best with everything, um, both at school and at home. Um, and that person goes to Danielle Cirillo. Well done, Danielle. All right, so now boys and girls will stand up for the national anthem. We will uh, get ready to do our, our singing all together. I know there's, I've had some very positive feedback about my singing, so I appreciate the kind words that people have been saying. Uh, it is a little bit embarrassing, but we do, uh, we do enjoy it. And I heard a few people are having a bit of a laugh at Mr. Teague singing, so thank you for that. But uh, if we're all ready, standing up. One, two, three. Australians all let us rejoice for we are young and free with golden soil and wealth for toil our home is girt by sea our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty rich and rare in history's page let every stage advance australia fair in joyful strengths then let us sing advance australia fair and i hope everyone has a lovely long weekend and we'll see you on tuesday <laughs>